quick to the back cave. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, click on the subscribe button. If you like this video, get your grappling hook out and grapple the like button, I guess. I uh, ding the bell, stay up to date. All of our videos, we talk about everything we want to talk about on the channel. If you have something you want us to talk about, let me know. We will discuss it. Let's get on with Batman 2, the Batman 2. Dark, eerie, film noir Batman by Matt Reeves. This one is coming out uh, at some point in the near future. I'm not going to say a date or anything because the writer's uh, strike, the writer's guild strike has delayed the writing of this film. COVID delayed the first film and the second one. I mean, this is just a tradition with the, these Batman movies. <laughs> the Robert Pattinson Batman movies, they need to be delayed by something but it's looking like the cast is rounding out they're have they're obviously at a point in the script where they feel confident because reports are circulating now that there is a two-man race for the role of harvey dent possibly slash two-faced going forward and that's joel edgerton from star wars from the gift uh it comes at night one of my favorite movies love that movie uh great actor i really i really like joel edgerton warrior if you haven't seen warrior he's fantastic really good and the other actor is Josh Hartnett, Mr. Uh, 40 Days of 40 Nights, coming up in Oppenheimer by Christopher Nolan in July, which is going to get decimated by Barbie, apparently. But Josh Hartnett is in the mix as well. Um, and these are very good casting choices, I would say. I like both of these actors. I have obviously Josh Hartnett. I haven't seen since he was a, since he was a teen icon. Um, but, I mean, he was great. And he, he had some great roles and had some good performances. I'm actually a bigger fan of Joel Edgerton. Like I said, it comes in that's one of my favorites. The Gift is fantastic, and I really do love Warrior, and I'm a big Star Wars guy, obviously. But I'm, but I, without having seen any of the casting, any of the audition tapes, or them in person auditioning, obviously I'm not there. Based on just their acting personalities, Hartnett is kind of, would be my leader in this one, would be Josh Hartnett. I feel like he kind of has the more, a little bit more of the Harvey Dent aesthetic to him than Joel Edgerton does. I'd like to see Joel Edgerton as, a, as another villain. But Josh Hartnett, for me, that's who, that's who I would like to see as Harvey Dent if it comes down to these two. But again, if, if they go Joel Edgerton, I, won't, I would never be disappointed in that. I just think you know, like, he would be better suited for like a Hugo Strange. Shake his head. Oh, he would actually be good there. Josh Hartnett, though. Whatever, let me know, know what you guys think. Hartnett, Edgerton, or somebody else. Would you like to see somebody else come in? We still don't know if he's going to turn into to Two-Face. It's speculation that he will. I kind of hope that he doesn't. Um, we've seen it happen, you know, we saw him turn into Two-Face in The Dark Knight, and we saw him already Two-Face in Batman Forever. I would kind of like to just see maybe Harvey Dent, he is taking the role of Coulson from the first one, right? Like, the DA is dead now, and he's a new DA, so I think just sticking him as a character of the DA would work. Again, though, the script is still being written, so who am I to say? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.